Reflecting and refracting telescopes. Refracting telescopes. Refracting telescopes use two lenses, an objective lens and an eye and an eyepiece. Galileo used these at telescopes in order to observe Jupiter's planets. Advantages, advantages of a reflecting telescope. A refracting telescope is a good is good for personal use and to simply make personal and prim, primitive observations fairly reliable as their lenses are perma permanently fixed and aligned. So what are the disadvantages of a refracting telescope? Reflecting telescopes suffer less from aber aberrations than refracting telescopes. Some of the light ref reflects off the lens so the image is very faint. Large lenses are needed to improve the magnification. This can be difficult to do perfectly. So, in a reflecting telescope, the light comes in from the front of the mirror, no, the front of the telescope, hits the concave mirror, which in this diagram is the primary mirror, and then is reflected onto the secondary mirror, which is a flat mirror, which also refracts the light and makes a focal point, and then is magnified by the eyepiece. Advantages of a reflecting telescope. It is fairly compact and portable, which is great for transportation and storage, generally more affordable. Mirrors can produce less optical aberrations, and mirrors are also cheaper to make than the lenses for a refracting telescope. However, there are a few disadvantages of a reflecting telescope. It is easy to get the optics out of alignment, and a reflector telescope's tube is open to the outside, and the optics need frequent cleaning, which also may, may make it more vulnerable to distortion and refraction of light.